What's up guys? So today I want to equip you with five different shots that you can use in a range of different settings, locations, or environments. Uh, whenever you're wanting to create something cinematic with your iPhone. But before we jump in, I just wanted to quickly run through some camera settings. So when it comes to shooting cinematic sequences, anything moody, low light or locked off, I've been choosing 4K, 24 frames a second. And for anything where I'm moving the camera, I'm gonna go with 4K 30 or 60 frames a second. Now the reason for this is because you know, when we're shooting in those higher frame rates, it's gonna enable you to slow down that footage while still keeping a really nice realism to the shot, especially in 30 frames a second. But it will also help you iron out any wobbles or shakes, you know, in post-production, especially once the footage is slowed down. So the 24 frames a second, I'm choosing that just to allow the most light into the sensor. And I just like to keep the shot fresh and crisp. I've also chosen to shoot my video in ProRes specific to iPhone 14 Pro. Now this is to allow maximum dynamic range in each of my shots. However, as a beginner, you might choose to leave this step out as ProRes will chew up your phone storage space, literally, as the files are super big to store and it's really only for those that are wanting to color grade their videos. Choosing cinematic mode in the iPhone 14 is the perfect place to start when shooting cinematic B-roll. The point of a rack focus is where one subject in the scene is in focus and gradually that focus changes to another subject in the scene. This is a technique that allows the cinematographer to put dramatic emphasis on one subject and then change that emphasis to another. Simply shooting your shot in the cinematic mode will actually allow you the freedom to play around with the focal point after capture. And that really is the beauty of this camera and what sets it apart with older models. So to do so, after capture, simply tap on the clip and create keyframe in the iPhone editing feature to perfect the focus point and rack movement. All right, so adding a simple panning shot into your cinematic sequence is a great way to reveal a location or to showcase some detail. Now, to get the best footage, I think it's important to hold the phone as if you were filming with a DSLR or a professional camera like locking off your elbows and allowing the smooth movement of your body to help with the flow of the pan. You know, we're not tourists waving a magic wand here. An iteration that you could also um, add to the B-roll is a masking shot. This is where we create two pans. The first one will be panning into a subject and the second will be panning out of that same subject or out of any other subject and into a different location. We mask shot A with shot B and you've created some next level flow in b-roll let's give it a go if you're enjoying this video then you're definitely going to enjoy our secret features on the iphone linked up up here in the cards one of those secrets for example is the fact that you actually have to go into your settings to toggle on a feature to retain the full quality of your photos and videos before you send them through airdrops through a cable through whatever it is you actually need to toggle that on so make sure you check it out Using a tripod provides stability, precise composition, controlled movement, and hand-free operation, all which contribute to making your iPhone videos more cinematic. In this example, we're really aiming to use our tripods to compose the perfect shot, and it's also a great way for anyone traveling solo to include themselves in their B-roll. All right, I'm really dressed like a presenter today. <laughs> Perfect. The blazer. It enables you to focus on directing your subjects, adjusting your lighting, making any other necessary changes and adjustment without worrying about holding the camera steady. You could also consider getting a smartphone gimbal, but we're gonna leave that for another video. In addition, one of my favorite personal cinematic effects is a slow, Ken Burns crop. It's just very cool, very dramatic. And the way I find it particularly effective is with a locked off shot. And so essentially on a tripod. Tripod shots allow for better control, overall production quality, and we think enhance the cinematic experience. If you're looking for another way to improve your cinematic iPhone videos, I highly recommend starting with music. Now, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound is offering you a free 30-day trial to start soundtracking your next cinematic iPhone video. So if you've just started out on YouTube and you're wanting complete peace of mind and knowing that 
when your channel opens up for monetization, all of the current videos that you're working on will be ready for monetization, meaning you will not be getting copyright strikes on any of those videos. Well then yeah, you gotta use a royalty-free licensed music library like Epidemic Sound. It is literally my go-to place for soundtracking, uh, travel videos, vlogs, all the videos that you really hear on this YouTube channel because they have an epic professional catalog of over 35,000 high quality songs and 90,000 sounds and effects. And right now, my top three personal songs are Henyo, this one, Soda Pops, the tune Ayo, Sweet Escape, and Duckmore. Need it. Mm, vibes up. So if you're ready to take your videos to the next level, click that top link in the description and start your free 30 day trial. Now, some of our personal favorite cinematic directors, uh, guys like Terrence Malick, who love to incorporate rolling shots into their sequences, into their cinematic montages in their movies. Now, this is really easy to emulate with your iPhone and you can add it into your cinematic iPhone B-roll by simply locking onto a subject like a leaf or a tree or just pointing the camera upwards, locking onto a subject and rolling your body, creating slight movement around that said subject. It's also really great if you do happen to get some really nice sunset light or sunrise light to, you know, to flicker and to add lens flares into the B-roll. No great movie is complete without the ultimate, the only, one and only tracking shot. And there's actually a couple ways to be creative with a tracking shot, right? You could track your subject, but your subject could be tracking you as well. Alternatively, you could also track someone from the side and cut on action to have sort of a a cinematic dynamic sequence of someone walking or running, whatever it is, could be a person, could be an animal, but the tracking shot is the way to go and we'll show you exactly why. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. We hope you've learned something. And if you have, why not considering punching that thumbs up button? That's right. And now it's your turn to tame that little beast. Turn your life into a cinematic masterpiece. See you in the next video. Ciao. Peace. <laughs>